Has this ever happened to you? You've been at your cell phone store, your carrier store, and you're upgrading your phone and the uh, helpful person, the customer service rep is upgrading your phone for you and transferring your data from one phone to the next and you don't get all your data transferred or worse, you lose all your data. Well, I know folks that that has happened to personally. So that is why I'm showing you what I'm showing you today. I'm gonna to show you how to create local backups that either when you're updating or upgrading your phone, you can take that information and put it onto the new phone without having to worry about whether or not it all got copied over, whether or not you had a internet, good internet connection and it got copied over. Um, and you're going to be all the better for it. So, let's hop on to the computer over here and I'm gonna show you how to back that thing up. Let's get into it. First thing, obviously, you're going to need that lightning cable so that you can connect your iPhone or iPad to the computer. You'll have to unlock the iPhone. Now, you may get a message on your iPhone, if it's your first time connecting to the computer, um, that says, do you want to trust the computer? Obviously, go ahead and click Trust Computer. And once you do, you can go ahead and launch iTunes if it's not set to auto-launch when you're using it. So, here we are. As you can see right here, it's, it's found my iPhone. It's recognized my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then if you've been syncing with the computer, it'll show you all the music and everything you have on uh, the iPhone. I haven't. So I'm going to click sync settings in the upper right hand corner. And that's going to take me to the heart of what we're here to do today, which is create a local backup of your iPhone or iPad. So you have all these tabs up here. You have general information about the iPhone you're using. This one is a 512 gigabyte iPhone. Uh, it shows your battery status. And it's the general tab where you're going to do the update, or excuse me, where you're going to do the backup. So you can see what OS your iPhone or iPad is on. And the options you're going to worry about are right here, backups. So right now it's set up to back up your most important data on your iPhone to iCloud. Obviously that's not what we want to do in this case. We want to choose the second option, which is back up all of the data on your iPhone to this Mac. And you want to go ahead and encrypt your local backup. If your laptop ever gets stolen, somebody breaks in your house, steals your computer, your data will be backed up. This is going to back up your iPhone or iPad. And if you have an Apple Watch connected to your iPhone, it's also going to create a backup of your Apple Watch. And then once you do that, you're going to just click backup now. And as you can see here, you have this little wheel that shows you what you're doing when you back up. So that's your little progress pie. That's the progress pie. So one note here, when doing the backup, when backing that thing up, the one thing that won't be backed up is your photos and video if you have iCloud Photo Sync turned on. If you have that turned on, everything that you've been taking pictures and video of is getting backed up to the cloud automatically. And when you plug up your phone, you won't have the option to sync the phone with iPhoto on your desktop. What you can do if you wanna get that is turn off iCloud Photo, but you're gonna to have to go through a bunch of other steps. The simplest way, the way I kind of recommend to do this is just to use, and I've talked about this in a previous video, SanDisk's um, iExpand Flash Go flash drive. It's a small flash drive that plugs directly into the, the lightning port of your iPhone or your iPad, and through its software allows you to download, uh, copy, all your photos and videos directly to that flash drive. It is no must, no fuss, really simple, really easy. Whereas if you have iCloud Photo Backup turned on, you're gonna have to go through a few different steps to get those photos um, onto your phone and then to actually sync them with the computer. I just think the, uh, the flash drive is a much simpler way to go. So definitely check that out and give that a look. And it's that simple. Once you click backup now, you're just going to wait for it to complete the backup process. It'll do that, it'll give you prompts, letting you know the process is done. 
And then if you ever run into an issue where your iPhone is frozen, if it locks up, if you have to wipe your iPhone, you can come directly to your computer and click on restore backup after you've you know wiped your iPhone and it's back up and running. You click restore backup and you'll be able to replace and put everything back on your iPhone exactly as it was before you had to wipe your iPhone. Uh, you also have an option here to manage backups. So if you have multiple device backups, because they actually can be pretty big. I've had some that are up to almost 200 gigabytes. Um, you can manage delete if you're running low on space on your computer. You can manage those and delete them there if you have them. So that's it. It's really that simple. This is how you save your life and your content. It really is a more sure way than backing up to iCloud. Although for most of the time, most of the things, iCloud is fine, but it really helps to have this local backup because like I said before, you just never know what might happen with your connection and sometimes not everything gets backed up. So this is the 100% surefire way to get the job done. I'm Tashaka Armstrong. If there's any questions you have about this process, maybe you've run into some glitches, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'll get to them. Love interacting with you all here on the YouTubes and uh, on the Facebooks when we're over there. And we don't take it lightly that you've spent your time watching with us. I'm Tashaka Armstrong for Reviews.org. I'll catch you on the next video.